it's a very famous saying that know your enemy before you combat so basically war pe jaane se pehle agar mujhe apne enemy ke bare mein sab kuch pata hoga then i'll be able to uh, win that war in a much better way now here it's not even our enemy ip mat examination ye hamara koi enemy nahi hai but still we have to conquer this examination so jitna zyada hame is exam ke bare mein pata hoga utna zyada better hoga now we all are preparing for this exam ip mat indore and ip mat rohtak obviously they have different patterns they have different time limits uh, like they have different type of questions that will be asked but agar hame aur thoda sa in depth understanding hai that what is our destination what is our goal then we'll be able to probably better prepare for that goal now goal or target iska matlab kya hai कि कट ऑफ कितनी हो सकती है हमारे एग्जामिनेशन में ना ऑब्वियसली कट ऑफ के बारे में कोई भी एग्जाम से पहले एग्जैक्टली exactly प्रिडिक्ट नहीं कर सकता बट वी कैन गेट आर सेल्फ प्रिपेयर बेस्ड ऑन द प्रीवियस ईयर कट ऑफ राइट सो टुडे दिस इज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द प्रीवियस ईयर कट ऑफ एंड डेफिनेटली अलॉट ऑफ अदर डिटेल्स अबाउट दीज टू एग्जामिनेशन दैट विल हेल्प यू to prepare for this examination in a much better way all right so let's begin this session uh first of all we'll talk about ip mat indore some of the very important things that have happened in the previous year and uh, the different cutoffs of different sections because ip mat indore we have sectional cutoffs then we'll switch over to ip mat rohtak and we'll talk about the similar things and probably some more interesting facts about this examination one by one all right so going first to ip mat indore i am indore so we'll be tested on two different parameters which will be given in three sections so jisme se do section quantitative aptitude ke honge ye sabko pata hai so we'll have mcq section of quantitative aptitude in which will be given 40 minutes then say, uh uh SA section in which this is a subjective answer type questions again in QA, which will have forty minutes, and then verbal ability section in which again questions will be of MCQ type, and forty minutes will be given to us. So total, ये जो exam होगा one twenty minutes की duration का होगा, but यहाँ पे sectional time limit है, right? So this is what we already know. Every correct answer will get you will get four marks, and yes, there is negative marking, but negative marking is not For subjective questions, ये जो second section दिख रहा है आपको यहां पर negative marking नहीं है but MCQ questions will have a negative marking of minus वन right? So this is about the pattern of this examination, right? Now the next thing is uh, the final merit list will be prepared on the test, the aptitude test score that is uh, conducted in the first stage in the previous stage. and the the personal interview which is held in the second stage. तो अभी जो आपने एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट देखा था उसका जो वेटेज होगा फाइनल मेरिट लिस्ट क्रिएशन में इट विल बी सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट वेटेज एंड थर्टी फाइव परसेंट वेटेज विल बी गिवन टू पर्सनल इंटरव्यू सो दे हैव मेड इट क्लियर that they will not be giving any kind of weightage as far as academics, as far as your score in टेंथ standard and the ट्वेल्थ standard is concerned. considered okay so aptitude test ko 65% weightage mil raha hai and personal interview ko 35% weightage mil raha hai to prepare the final merit list now going ahead and talk about the previous year cutoffs now this information i have not uh, i would say made myself i have taken it from the official website of iim indore yes guys official website pe sub कुछ गिवन होता है इन डिटेल राइट सो नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द सेक्शनल कट ऑफ ऑफ क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड सब्जेक्टिव आंसर्स क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड एमसीक्यूज एंड वर्बल एबिलिटी एमसीक्यूज सो दीज आर द सेक्शनल कट ऑफ द मिनिमम कट ऑफ मार्क्स इन ईच सेक्शन फॉर वेरियस कैटेगरीज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दीज थ्री कॉलम्स राइट now for ews category in the first section the cut off was 16 so that means a student who has attempted four questions correctly four questions correct hai he or she will be able to clear this cut off next quantitative ability mcqs 
so a person who is able to get 7 correct 7 into 4 is 28 28 marks bhi aagaye to aap easily ye wali sectional cut off clear kar sakte ho finally in verbal ability it is 89 marks for ews category now the same things if i look at the general category so the cut offs are 24 35 and 113 respectively so that means effectively six correct questions here effectively nine correct questions here and effectively approximately 29 correct questions here will get you a call from iim indore ip ipm program right fine now likewise you can see the sectional cutoffs for the other categories nc obc pwd sc and st so these are the cutoffs right now next is the number of applicants meeting these sectional cutoffs so male and female wise diya hua hai number of uh, candidates so in ews category 23 females and 55 males have cleared all the three sectional cutoffs in general category the number is 87 and 225 that means a total of 312 candidates have cleared from general category have cleared all the three sectional cutoffs for this particular examination all right fine similar number is for the other three category uh, other four categories right so that means if you belong to a general category then what should be the target in front of you let's understand this thing now to get a score of 24 you need six effective corrects but aisa to nahi hai na ki main six attempt karunga aur mere six ke six correct ho jayenge okay so what i would say is target at least 10 attempts in this section with an accuracy of around 80 percentage you cannot ensure this accuracy, but yes, you can definitely work on this particular thing. So 10 questions, if you attempt kar lete ho, 8 correct, hai, then 8 into 4, 32, you are safely above the sectional cutoff of the previous year, right? Now, this, this year, 2025, you never know what is going to be the sectional cutoff. It will totally depend on the level of difficulty of uh, this section as well as the entire paper. Right? So we cannot predict. So we have to be safe. We should be playing on a safer side. So 24 ko target karenge, to shayad hum cut off ko miss kar de. Right? So it's always better to stay away, to target something which is above the sectional cutoffs. Now talking about the second section for general category, the cutoff was 35 marks in the previous year. So once again, if you will attempt around 13 to 14 questions with an accuracy of 70 to 80 percentage then this particular section can be uh, i would say uh, you can uh, take over this uh, section very easily all right now finally in quantitative ability if your target will be somewhere around 35 questions right or maybe a little more with an again accuracy of uh, somewhere around 80 percentage then you probably will be able to uh, reach this cutoff. Now 35, it seems to be a little less. You can target around 38 to 39 questions to reach this number. All right, fine. So friends, this is about IP mat indoor examination, right? Now let's switch our focus to the next one, which is IP mat Rohtak, right? Now IP mat Rohtak, let's understand uh, the paper pattern. So IP Matt Rothak has three sections, quantitative ability, logical reasoning and verbal ability, right? Now each of these three sections will have 40 questions and a total of 120 minutes will be given to you, right? Now in this examination, there is no sectional time limit, right? So sectional time limit nahi hai and the weightage of every question is four marks with a negative marking of one mark for every wrong answer. All the questions will be multiple choice questions. So all these 120 questions which needs to be completed in 120 minutes, every question is a multiple choice question, plus four for correct and minus one for wrong. Now moving ahead and looking at some of the uh, more important facts. So how the merit list will be prepared. Now unlike Indoor, here weightage will be given to 10th and 12th score. So let's talk about this. So IP mat, jo exam hoga, aptitude test, 
55% weightage will be given to the written test, right? Then 15% weightage will be given to the interview, personal interview, which will happen after this uh, test. And then 10% and 20% respectively weightage will be given to 10th and 12th score. So 10th ke score ko 10% weightage and 12th mein jo bhi aap achieve karoge ya jo achieve kar chuke ho jisne last year exam de diya tha, right? So 20% weightage will be given to your CBSE board 12th examination, right? So we can say that yes, board examination ka result, it plays a very important role. A total of 30% weightage is given to our academics as well, right? Now moving forward and looking at the applicants who attended IPM examination, IPM indoor examination on May 18, 2024. So total number of aspirants kitne the is examination ke. This data is also given on the website, on the official website. So jo bhi again mein repeat kar jo bhi mein data aapko de raha hon, jo bhi hum baate kar rahe hai, all these things are official as given on the official website of IIMs, right? So now, if I talk about the total candidates who have written this examination, it was 13,414 with these respective numbers from each category. General category, 10,313, EWS, 733, NCOBC, 1,736, and so on, with a bifurcation of female and male as given in this table, right? So total number of females who appeared was 6,000 approximately and number of males who appeared was 7,400, right? So overall 13,414 number of candidates appeared in this examination the last year. Now this year we are expecting a slight increase in this number, right? Because uh, a lot of like more and more uh, number of students uh, are getting to know about this examination, okay? Now moving ahead and talking about the minimum cutoff marks and the number of applicants meeting the cutoff marks. Jaisa humne indoor ke baare mein discuss kiya tha, similar thing we'll be discussing about this. Now we have a total of 120 questions multiplied by 4, that means 480. 480 marks ka paper hai and Cutoff for the general category last year, the minimum cutoff was 301 marks. So any student who has effectively 76 questions correct will be able to score 304 marks and will be able to safely clear the minimum cutoff for IPM Rotak examination, right? 301 marks, so 301 divided by 4 is 75.25 so 76 questions correct out of 120 you will be getting a call from ipmat uh, i am in the uh, sorry i am rotak program for this right now similarly the cutoffs for the other categories so now what we should be targeting out of these 120 questions so i would say that this year your target should be at least at least 110 questions Okay, with an accuracy of approximately 80 percentage. Now, 80 percentage that means 88 questions will be correct, and remaining 22 questions will be wrong. Now, 88 multiplied by 4, 320 and uh, 32, that is 352 minus 22, you will be sitting at somewhere around 330, 340 marks. All right. Now, last year it was 310 and I'm asking you to target at least above 325 marks to be safe and secure about the call that you'll be getting from IIM Rohtak, right? So this is for general category. Then for the other categories, you can calculate in the similar manner. So if you are from ST category, do not target 118, target at least 140, 150. And why not target 300 marks here? 300 ko target karo, cross 300 marks and you will be safely sitting in uh, this college. Alright. Now, the number of students who have uh, safely cleared the cutoff, these cutoffs which are given. So, from general category, 387 students have uh, cleared the cutoff and a total of 831 candidates have cleared the cutoff which are given here on the screen. 
okay so that means 831 students must have been called for the personal interview right now number of applicants shortlisted for personal interview so it was 831 as per the list that you have seen so 831 candidates were shortlisted for the personal interview right so friends this is all about the information about the cutoffs and the number of applicants and the number of students who have cleared these cutoffs in the last year now you have this information i believe that you will now be able to prepare yourself in a much better way all the very best for these examinations i'll see you around bye bye